What's up, Dorian? Here, welcome back to yet another reaction. Today we are hopping into Smallville episode number seventeen of season number one called Reaper. Hopefully, it's a good episode. Hopefully, it's a lot of fun. Hopefully, you've been enjoying the series. If you have, like, comment, subscribe to the channel, Patreon for the full reaction, uncut episodes over there. If you want them, if you don't want them, totally cool. You can get episodes here whenever they show up. Uh, so the previous episode um, was uh, the Stray. We met this kid, and he turned out he could read people's minds and. Got really close to the to the Kents. Um, there was some stuff with uh, Lex that uh, these guys went after. The um, crazy people went after Lex. The kid knows about Clark's powers. Um, yeah, I mean, then the kid gets to close with his aunt. I mean, I thought the episode was overall really, really good. I liked it a lot. I thought that you know, I thought that the way that he talked about, he asked Clark if he wants to know about the Lana situation that he. Told Clark about the Chloe situation. Uh, he told he told Clark to be careful about Lex. I don't know. I enjoyed the episode. Hopefully you guys did as well. Uh, but other than that, I mean, this one's called Reaper, so it could be a Grim Reaper. I mean, we're looking at a how's this thing called? Whatever this thing's called, I can't remember. I'm drawing a blank right now. Uh, but you know, we're looking at this, so maybe somebody dies. Maybe somebody touches some people and they die. I don't know. I don't think it's gonna be an actual ghost or anything, but somebody that has like some type of power and they they put people out of their like you know. Like have to they kill people because you know they feel that they put them out of their misery maybe I don't know but we're gonna hop in here have a good old time like comment subscribe here we go I'm getting the doctor wait Tyler if you love me you'll do this for me He Pepper, is. On the other hand. Oh, not so bad. <laughs> he is gonna kill people Pepper. that he thinks that Hi, how are you on their last legs. I wish there were. Wow, this is gonna be an interesting One episode. I'm very. I'm gonna be very curious to see the difference in the comment section. He leaves ashes and bones. Like, not even bones, just ashes. <laughs> Your father's very disappointed with you, Lex. Yeah, who's this? My father's disappointment is perennial. Has been very tolerant of your excesses. But this time you didn't spend the money on. My father made every question a quiz, every choice a test. Sec my father and I have our annual fishing trip. Of course you do. I haven't seen my son yet. Don't worry, he'll be here soon. <sighs> That's good. You remember this? It's my first fishing rod. <laughs> yeah, you. I'd say the Milk River's changed quite a bit. No, you would say Lex gave you tickets. That would literally. But we had an understanding. How am I supposed to protect you if you won't give me all the facts? I don't always need your protection. When it comes to your secret, you bet you do. The only reason I do it is because it makes you happy. What the? Damn it, Clark. What the? Damn. You went hard. Way harder than you needed to. Didn't come out right. Like a very. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Pepper. Bro, the dog. He feels the emotion when he kills them, though. He felt no emotion for the dog, though. I'm sure, your intentions were entirely noble. That's not fair. I don't think you understand how I regard Clark and your family. Yes, I do. I understand perfectly well. That's what this is about. Clark wasn't up front with you. He's a good kid, Lex. I don't want that to change. Neither do I. Oh, their friendship's so fucking much, man. <laughs> Why you haven't given me a reason to see anything else? I feel like Lex has been real nice to, like, damn it, man. Is Whitney not really going to see his father? I mean, I get it. I still think he. Now, I'm. No, I, I believe can't. now you have like now. Being grown, I take the man over I get the it. any day of the week. You have to, but you have, like, I get. I, you need me. Okay. So does he have to just touch you or. 
Does he have to like, just, can he just touch you or does he have to grab you the way he do, like, grabs people? Oh. Mrs. Sykes, that was you. Bartlett? Hank? You okay? Call the sheriff. What's going on? It literally is just touching shit. See, he's not. Oh, man. It's. What the? Why'd you do that, son of a bitch? What? You okay? I was on your side, you jackass. I mean, I wasn't on his side, but damn, I wasn't like, I was not for killing him or anything like that. I was for getting a little bit of the reasoning. Whatever you do, don't let him touch you. Long story. Just trust me. Whitney found. Probably. He and India, I need to talk to you about the shark scan. Is your dad coming? I'm not sure. Funny, when I asked him, he was pretty adamant he wasn't going. I'm rescinding the offer. Oh. Fishing with your dad. Lex, you don't have to do that. I know. I was a teenager, and this shit was airing on TV, and I was watching this show. There's something about this show that I know I would have just fallen in love with. Enjoying your drink? Oh, wait, no. Clark, I just left Tyler in the graveyard. Are you okay? He heard Whitney talking about his father. Damn, he said that he could bring him peace. Came here? Did you call the police? That's... It'd be interesting if he talked to Whitney. and Like, if he talked to the people and asked them if he really wanted to, I think that would be... Oh! This mother... You know what, bro? I can end you, your pain. You're fucking nuts. You're too far. I mean, I know what you're feeling. I thought I, I thought I would feel. Tyler, go. Out the way. I know. I could see it in my mother's eyes. Your mother's alive. She recovered after that night in Metropolis. I brought her home to Smallville. What? What? This is a twist. What the hell? Holy shit. As long as we have that, there's still hope. She seems so peaceful. What have I done? Tyler. I just want it all to be over. You gotta touch his face. I was right. Tyler. Off the trunk. What has he done? What is he? The next time one of your drones bothers the Kents, I'll be lucky to catch you right home with a spare. Jesus. <laughs> well done. This is what your dad is proud of. You drugged one of the people he sent to you and put them in the trunk. <laughs> so your dad's okay for now. He's gonna, his father's gonna die though. There's no way his father doesn't. Is that his father up there? Nobody in the crowds. Oh, there's the team. That's the team from Metropolis. Okay. Yeah, professional, professional sports team. Could you imagine, bro? Hey, your boyfriend is on the field. <laughs> I was just about to say, why aren't you on the field with, like down there with the parents? I don't know what kind of relationship she has with them, but... Dad, I'm sorry. What I said it is Clark. The fishing trips, they never had anything to do with fishing. I'm in time with you, bro. Just, I want to spend some time with my son. All right. That was episode 17. Uh, another pretty solid episode to me. I liked it. I thought it was. I enjoyed it. I'd probably give it an 8. I don't know if it's worth an 8, but for me. um. The way that they kind of handled everything and with the whole term of like, you know, death and, you know, when is, is it, when is, not when is it okay? I don't want to say that, but the concept of like, and somebody's, when somebody's in so much pain and they want to die, right? 
I, don't know, I mean, that, that's still suicide. I don't know. It's such a complicated thing, right? Because that is suicide, essentially. Because yeah, you're letting somebody kill you. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I've always been fascinated by that idea, right? Whenever that you hear stories of, like, the people that, like, the people that get the um, thing where they euthanize. Is that what it's called? No. The thing where they... Give you the, the uh, they 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 essentially give you something that somebody kills you, right? The doctor that used to do that, crazy doctor. I don't know. I always I always find it fascinating. They're like, but if somebody wants to die, right? You know, and not you know somebody that's like old in pain or something. Is that is that their right to choose? Since it's their life. I don't know. And I was on. I wasn't on board, but I was like, okay, I could see that that concept and that idea was there with me with this guy, right? For most of the episode. Then he started doing some shady shit. Like, he killed the dog. And he, you know, he tried to kill Clark, and he was gonna, and he killed the one lady without asking, and he kind of was going on this rampage. He threw Whitney against the thing, and he wasn't even asking these people if they wanted to die. He was just like, oh, I can make it go away. And they're like, what, you can cure me? No, I'm gonna kill you. (laughs) So I don't know. I I was fascinated by this episode. I don't think it's like a great episode, but I'm gonna give it an eight, a very low eight. But it was it was, it was an eight. The stuff with Whitney, I, I fully understand that too, man. Like you're young, you look up to one of your parents or a family member or somebody that you look up to in general, or somebody that you've always seen in a certain way. It's hard to go to a hospital and see them weak, fragile. It's it's tough, man. Real tough. But I I don't know. I I don't know. It's interesting. It's just interesting the way that that, that, that works out. Um, when it comes to Lex, and I love Lex, man. I love Lex a lot. I think it's going to suck when he goes bad. And I don't even know when that's going to happen. Season two, three, four. Because at the moment, you're like, oh, Lex is awesome. He's a great dude. He's the best. He's super nice. I don't even know what's going to drive him to be crazy. Like... Will he ask Clark for something? I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm very intrigued by that. Even the, um, the Jonathan part of it, right, where Jonathan was um, doesn't like the Luthers and that one guy that was investigating Clark and all that. But Jonathan's whole thing about not liking the Luthers and he thinks that everything that, that Lex does is for has ulterior motives. But with, with, Le- with Clark, it doesn't. With Clark and that thing with Whitney that he just did there. Who did he do that for? He did that for what? For Clark? Like, Clark could have asked. Like, he, that's for Whitney. He, I think Lex legitimately thinks that he's making progress in this town. And people actually like him. I think what could turn Lex to go bad is if maybe the town turns on him. Or something he didn't do or something. Maybe that'll be it. I don't know. But the town doesn't like him that much. But I don't know. I like the episode. So I give it an eight. We'll break it down. Start off the beginning. Our boy here is, uh, you know, mom's past. His mom's dying. His mom's in pain. He wants to be killed. And at this point, I thought he was already had the power. Comes inside and he's just doing the old fashioned suffocating. And how does he fall out the window? Yeah, this part. I wonder how that like he how does that work? He pushed off and saw the window died. The little kryptonite rock that he had in his thing. Body. He actually he touches the one guy that was gonna kill him. Kills him. This I consider this an accident. Even though he did kill him, it was an accident. Uh, we get, I don't even know what this was. They, I thought this was like a funeral home, but we go in, it's a produce thing, and we're going to give produce to all these old people, and he's our driver. He, we meet this lady who's very sick. Who says about, I can make the pain go away or something. We get this little guy here who's investigating some stuff of Lex. And Lex already knows at the gate what's happening. He's like, okay, dad sent you for a reason. Then we get this guy asking questions about Clark and about why, why about Lex and why Lex investigating Clark and all this other stuff. Which again, drives the whole thing with Jonathan of not liking, not liking Lex. We get Whitney's whole father being sick. But what's uh, Clark off here? I'm supposed to protect you if you won't give me all the facts. I don't know. Was it 
Oh, I gotta get over. I know that this is about them arguing about Lex and going to a game instead of fishing. But what? I don't know. I, I want to know what's it. Is what set him off the Lex thing? These need your protection. When it comes to your secrets, you bet you do. Maybe when you get a little older, you'll understand my apprehension about the Luther family. Stop. Yeah, I'll see the Luther family. Treating me like a kid. Yeah, the Luther family is what set him off. Cause then, all right, cause that that set him off into this whole I'm not thing. seven years old anymore. I'm not casting lines in the paddock. I don't even like fishing. The only reason I do it is because it makes you happy. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck? <laughs> you were just, you know, a little bit of yelling. It was. He Clark went real bad. Not real bad, but we're mean. Um, it was a dog. Asks the lady about them. Tells the lady the pain's going to go away. Kills her. Leaves the ashes behind. So they're combustion or whatever. Clark and Donna are talking. So. Arthur tries to get in and say, hey, you know, talk to your dad, whatever. Clark's being naive. And Lex comes over about the game. And so, oh, Clark never told you about the investigating thing. Hey, and you know, more stuff driving in there. And Lex actually did it because he thought it would be fun for them to go to this thing. So my thing also is Lex has so much money. He has nobody to share that wealth with. He's sharing it with his friend and his friend's family. I get that. I know it might come off as weird, but I get that when you have so much money, Want to share it with people that you care about? I get that. Clark talks to Whitney. Side, we find the dog. Thing, he tries to help. He doesn't. Why would he not always wear gloves? <laughs> he should always wear gloves. The produce accidentally kills the one dude. Again, all accidents. And then it was here where he tried to grab. He touched Clark in the face, knowing what his power is. And I'm like, bro. Oh, wait, and then Clark said he didn't see a heartbeat. I didn't see that. Did he not see a heartbeat? Mom. I want to see if there was no heartbeat because I didn't catch that. So, you can't really see. You can't really see it or anything. So, we talked to John. Tell, or, you know, tell him about. How the guy do it, all that stuff, but we're still art, we're still not on talking terms. Go to Lana, tell Lana not to touch him. We have the whole thing with Lex. Lex says, you know what? I'm canceling the whole tickets. Go fishing with your father. I want to spend, spend time with you. Whitney wants to talk to Lana. They talk in the funeral. He's like, this is the first time I've come here with you. And they're just talking. They're just, you know, a lot of emotions and stuff. Then we have this guy show up. I can make the friend's problem go away. Clark poison this dude. Um, what did we find here? I wasn't... I should have mentioned they may not be suitable for all ages. My buddy Chad works weekends for the ME. He zip-filed the toxicology report. Besides the fatal amount of painkillers, they also found fragments of an unknown green... Yeah, this is when they were doing the autopsy of the guy and the guy that, com guy that combusted inside of a... Or Lana shows up, tells about Whitney, what's happening with Whitney. The dude's gonna kill him, shoves Whitney and knocks him out. Clark starts to, fight, starts to fight him and then tells him your mom's alive. He didn't die that day. It's a miracle. And he kills himself. Lex has this amazing moment here with his dad. He one-ups on his father and then his father's proud of him for this. We have the football game where Lex with the professional team to come. I don't know. This could actually happen. How much do you have to pay these guys to actually do this? It's because you own the team. I mean, that you... And then again, sometimes they do charity events, so maybe I'll... But you know, they make up, say they're sorry, all this stuff, and that's the end. So I like the episode, really enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys did as well. Like, comment, subscribe, picture for action. I'm going to get out of here and I'll talk to you guys.